Okay, my name's Paul Karpovich, I'm here doing some videos for the Warrior Collective. Today I'm going to show you um, how to do some, some blocking basically, how to block the kicks, different methods of blocking punches, what scores, how it scores in Thai and the difference between Muay Thai and K1 on some of the kicks and stuff. So I've got to start off with the basic Muay Thai block, yeah? So we're going to do a simple one, off your partner's low kick, yeah? So when your partner low kicks you, see there, you've got a block where you just lift it up. Now see there? You go raw shin to shin, yeah? So see like that, if you just lift it up like bang, it's raw shin to shin, it's gonna hurt. But obviously, when this comes fast, it's better than nothing. It's better than taking it here. But I always say to, to my guys, my fighters, or even you guys, you know, if you can, you sometimes even training with someone a bit clumsy and keep kicking you too hard and you've got an injury already, you're thinking, right, run, chill with the kick. But Sometimes you've just got to work round it. So say, let's say Diddy's kicking my leg, I've got a bit of an injury in it, oh, he's blasting it up. I'm just, I don't really want to block it with my shin because it's sore anyway. So what you've got to do, see that the top bit of your shin there, the top bit, the knee, yeah? You just turn this out more, yeah? So instead of going here, raw shin to shin, yeah? You're just pulling it back a little bit more and you go towards his foot, yeah? And I guarantee he's not going to be throwing them low kicks hard anymore. So when, you, when it kicks like that, up, instead of coming up, lazy, yeah, you just come slightly out, turn your knee slightly out, and I point my toes in towards me, and then land like that, yeah? And you can also do that if he kicks the inside, see like that, up. So you're just sort of putting it on the end of his foot. Same when he body kicks, I'll show you a bit more, see that? Boom, when he body kicks like that, boom. But see, instead of going there, you pull it back a little bit. You gotta be careful, don't pull it back too much, because the kick will still slide in. Whoop. You want to pull it back just enough where it's hitting the, the end of his foot or towards his ankle. It's a brilliant method of how to block the kick if someone's, someone's going really hard. So you want to get in a good habit of keeping them nice and low. When you, low, when you block, don't lift too high on the low kick because they go through. For example, if he throws a low kick here on my leg, I lift too high. It's going to go through and buckle me up. So you just want to stand strong, nice and low, boom, put it to the end of his ankle or his foot. That will force him to control his technique, otherwise he's going to end up with a broken foot or a broken ankle. Same on the body kick. When you body kick, you block like this, someone good will come over that, kick you there. Put your elbows out a little bit and no gaps. So when you block like that, see there, no gaps, so you won't get through. And same again, turn it out a little bit so you get his foot or his ankle, it's got to really hurt him. Also, and the block, you don't really see this one. You've got inward block, outward block. I like to do like that, you know, meet your elbow, meet your elbow. So there's no gaps, no gaps, no gaps. And at the same time, see when you block with your left, block with my left, and you get good. You put your right arm out, yeah? This is, if he's a good fighter, he's gonna kick me, and he's gonna come box me and try to elbow me. See, if you put this arm out there, it's hard for him to come in now, and I can land in and throw my shot, throw your shot. Or, or just push him back, do you know what I mean? So, so you keep your arm out. Same if he kicks on that side, see that, keep this arm out, so I'm ready to throw. Sometimes you, you, you know, it will happen a bit where you, you might feel a bit, your arm's not out, but if you practice blocking like, arm out, arm out, arm out, same leg. Block everything with your left and just swap, get used to swapping your arms, as you do when you kick, do you know what I mean? You swap your arms, same sort of thing when you block. Now, I'll go for the unorthodox block I've got to get to. So, when, when someone kicks you, yeah, a lot of people, you just block. But sometimes I like to, because the difference between blocking and catching realistically, you block a kick, nine times out of ten, he's, he's not going to kick you back because it can damage your leg or it can hurt your leg when you block with your shit. Sometimes you catch a kick, yeah, it's a good defence if you're pretty quick and you know what to do with it. But if the person's real good who you're fighting, you catch his leg. Sometimes it's pointless in even catching it because as he catches your leg there, he's really good. He's got a bang, he's got to get that leg out like that. He's get it out or he'll grab you in the clinch and then you end up having to wrestle with him in the clinch. So they're really good. So I'm going to show you a method on a bit of both. Uh, one of the old school fighters used to use, I think it was Somrock, I'm not too sure, but there are a few fighters I've seen use it, mainly old school ones, but you can see by the block like this and the catch at the same time. So you've got block and catch method. So see there, when they kick, pop, and then there you move it, and you've got hold of the leg then, and then you can retaliate on a kick, because sometimes if you just block it, he's got his leg back ready to throw, but if you block and catch, especially if you push at the same time, and then boom, you're ready to throw something. It's more unorthodox, it's better for you. So you can do a few different methods, I'll show you, especially if he kicks this side, 
Act a block like that, and then sometimes just move it, bang, just take him down with a low kick or the same block. Just swing his leg, hand, hand, boom, pump back to your leg. Sometimes if you're in southpaw and he throws that side like that, you can block it inward, drop, boom, come with a spinning heel kick or like even like that, see there, block, boom, drop an elbow. Because the difference is when, when you block and catch, it's just unusual a lot of the time. He thinks this is gonna happen. His legs gotta go there. But when you do that and you keep hold of it, it's like a bit, he'll lose a bit of balance, so it's good for that. So it's like, it's quite hard to do. You gotta hook your hand over it or under it, but still make sure you protect. Do you know what I mean? So we're still protecting and then you move it. You see where that's actually gonna strike afterwards. Or if he kicks there, see like that. Up, and either come with the heel kick or unorthodox elbow, or that elbow. Whichever you want, also you got like, See that? Boom, boom, kick his leg like that. Boom. Yeah, I won't try that in a fight, but you can have a little play when you're sparring, messing about. But you got block like that, block like that, block with the catch, block with the catch. Yeah, so I like that one. You think Somrak used to use it a lot. Like the kick, 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 kick. Yeah, block, move it. Why? Spinning heel kick and then block, block, boom. Or if the kick's on the other side, like that, block. Why? Come round with it, get ready to throw that. It's unorthodox, you do the spin back fist, you can't do the heel kick or spinning elbow. But yeah, man. Um, my name's Paul Karpovic. If you want to see more videos, check out Warrior Collective. Uh, have a look at my Facebook page as well, Too Technical Muay Thai, or my Instagram, Paul Karpovic. Nice one.